Hello again everyone, so uh, this time we will work on the opponent, which will be a bot, finally. Okay, so, um, and all his, jo his job will be is uh, to uh, follow the ball and uh, hit it back. Um, pretty simple stuff, two methods, um, and half of the code that we have already written in the player script will be used. So, but first, before we even start with that, I want to change something on our player. So. Let me uh, f focus on him, and you see that his trigger is not very well aligned. I want to push it forward a little bit more. Yeah, that seems better, so the ball doesn't hit his uh, collider. Um, nice. Okay, now the the bot. Uh, it will be exactly like our player, so we can duplicate him, rename him to bot. Oops. Rename bot. And let's go ahead and uh, unpack the prefab so uh, it doesn't get affected by the changes that we make to our player. And uh, something else very important that I want to address is uh, remove the colliders on the racket. So let's select the head and the grip, go to the capsule collider and remove. Because we don't need them and they uh, get in the way sometimes. So our bot, we don't need the uh, player component, so go ahead and delete that. And let's make a new script, call it bot, and hit create and add. Let's open it in Visual Studio or whatever you have. So double click, wait for it. Great. Um, so our bot has uh, some main things like his uh, speed, so float speed. He has an animator. Just like the player, he has um, a reference to our ball, so public transform ball, and a reference to his hit target. Hit target. Let's start first by making that. So compile or actually aim target. Yeah. Um, let's duplicate the aim target of our player and. Move it about there. Let's call this aim target bot. Um, go to the script, assign the aim target to its position, and the ball to its position. Cool. So let's actually fix this name to aim target. Great. So, um, what his job uh, would be to just follow the ball on the x-axis because as we said before I will show you here um, not game view, the scene view, I closed it, I'm sorry ah, block that, great, and maximize so where is our bot? He is there. So we move him. Um, is that the player or the bot? Let me see. That is the bot. Great. So um, let's rotate him also and place him about there. Um, great. So he plays like a Djokovic and not some Roger Federer that will kick our ass. Um, our bot moves on the X axis, which is the red one like we can see in the top right corner uh, so the red axis will be his only uh, way to move and you don't want him to move up and down uh, for now of course you can add any functionalities you want and uh, it's up to you but i will make something uh, very simple and that you can change however you want so how can we do the movement on the x axis of course uh, according to our ball very simple since we have already a reference to our ball in here and uh, we have assigned it so how can we move let's go and make a void let's call it move and uh, in this uh, method we will uh, address the movement and again how can we move very simple we track the x position of the ball and move towards it so we will need a vector let's call that vector target position Position 
and in the start method, in the start we will uh, assign to it our uh, initial position so we don't move uh, to some random location so target position will be equal to transform dot position that's from the very start because we don't want to move up and down and now nothing will happen so all we have to do is modify the x component of that vector to uh, match our board so we do target position equals ball since it's already already a transform we just write dot position dot x same here dot x great now how can we assign that uh, we do transform dot position equals vector 3 dot move towards and uh, it's very self-explanatory uh, all we have to give it is three things uh, the current position which is our transform dot position and the target position of course some speed times time delta time never forget that time delta time so it's independent of the frame rate and uh, the speed will be defaulted to something like 50 we can of course change that, uh, that later to match some difficulties or whatever so let's not forget to call the move uh, function that we have just made um, great now what does this uh, script do all it does is track our ball's x position and move uh, towards it with some speed let's go back to unity let's check if we don't have any errors and you can ignore that one for now um, let's try well, the bot won't hit the ball back, of course, but it's good that we don't have any errors. We can see that he moves and he collides with the ball so it stops, but it's okay for now. Now, how can we make him hit the ball back? And we, all, we have already made that possible in our player script, so all we have to do is copy this on trigger enter, which uh, hits the ball from uh, our player script and paste it that was very simple <laughs> very easy and uh, we notice here that we have a force that we haven't declared yet so let's go and declare that force float force give it the value of 13 just like our player has 13 um, that we have found like a uh, arbitrary good value um, the animator was already referenced so that will work and it tracks the position also um, that should also be fine and we can go back and try again hopefully now our bot will uh, hit the ball back and he does not why does he does not oh right we have not assigned the aim target of our ball, uh, bot so we do that now it should work I hope Come on, hit the ball back, and he does. Great. And we can try to hit the ball very far, and he will go after it. And let's just remove the gizmos so it looks more professional. Cool. Okay, that's what we wanted to do. And there's something that I want to fix first which is, um, oh, what are these? Right, the animations. He doesn't have the animations for some reason. Wasn't he hitting the ball? Oh, let's see what this problem is. All right, we didn't um, initialize the uh, animator. We have only declared it, so get component animator. I'm sorry for that. And not animation. Animator. Never forget to uh, uh, assign your variables or you will get some errors. Um, so, what was I saying? Right, um, we want to uh, reset the aim target to its actual position dressed after we hit the ball so it doesn't stay there and we have to move it back so 
very simple stuff. We go to our play script. Um, we will declare, declare a vector that will hold the initial position of the aim target, and right after we hit, we uh, assign it back. So let's make a vector three, call it aim target initial position and right from the start that will be defaulted to the aim target dot position and then right after we hit in our on trigger enter uh, it's okay we can put it here um, aim target so we put that the exact opposite of what we have just written that position equals that new vector that we have just created that should work let's actually test that okay so i will aim and when i hit it goes back great that was way too wide and at least it works awesome and you will later uh, disable that aim target so we don't uh, actually see it because it uh, it's not very uh, doesn't very look look very good so we can play uh, to uh, an infinity of time with this bot because he never loses he's so fast and that will be all for this video so thank you for watching and uh, if you have any suggestions to make please write them in the comments